Hi, this is Pat back again. Here's the title to this next one. When the rockets go down. This dream is from Woofy. Now, you got to hear this. This will blow your mind. It blew mine. Okay, listen to this. Now, I'm Woofy now telling the story. You got to hear this. This is my favorite. Okay. <clears throat> it is a beautiful day. The sky is crystal clear. I mean, you know those picture-perfect skies with nice little puffy clouds and everything's real pretty. The day is beautiful. It's serene. The sun is shining brightly. You can hear the birds. I mean, it's just perfect. Okay. And I'm strolling along this little road. I mean, I'm somewhere in, I believe I'm somewhere in the Kansas area. You know, and that's what it looked like to me, like Kansas. Okay. So it's really beautiful, sunny, bright, peaceful, just couldn't ask for anything better. And I'm looking around, enjoying this beauty. And then all of a sudden, it's almost like somebody pulled a blanket. Everything starts getting dark. Everything. The clouds are getting dark. The sky is getting dark and gloomy. I look over at the sun and the sun is turning black. Whoa. Okay. So now that the sun is turning black, I mean, I'm really starting to trip now. All of a sudden, thunder. Thunder, you guys. This is getting crazy. Okay, and then after the thunder starts clapping all over the place, I look over to this field on my right, and guess what I'm looking at? I see three tornadoes touching down. Now, between you and me and the lamppost, I got me a fear of tornadoes. So, you know I was hitting the panic button, right? Okay. So now these tornadoes have touched down. And I'm sitting up here like, now what? Then I start hearing this ringing, this high-pitched ringing. I was like, what is this? It was a rocket. And this rocket was headed my way, and it hit the field near me. And when that thing hit the field, everything went black. And you know what? I heard a voice while everything was black and ash was falling all over. All of a sudden, I hear this voice. And this is what the voice said. When the missiles go down, my children go up. Hmm. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. Now here's, here's the change of scenario. Same dream, same timing, but now all of a sudden I have changed locations and I'm in New York on the beach. Now I see that there's a tsunami coming. I see it coming. I know it's going to be there in about two minutes and I'm hollering to everybody to run, run and nobody's paying any attention. So I run and I get to the closest hotel and I run all the way up the stairs and I mean, I'm huffing and getting up there as quick as I can, but it only has 20 stories and I'm on the roof and I see that thing coming and it's about 50 to 80 feet tall or taller, but it was taller than that hotel. So I knew I was a goner. And I'm looking at the people down below, and they're running and they're hollering and screaming. I mean, it was chaotic. It was crazy. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, out of the blue, I see myself caught up in a bubble. And I'm floating upward and upward. And I look down, and I see the people, and I see the destruction about to get them, and I'm saying, oh, no, no, no. And then I happen to look up around me, and I notice I'm not the only one in a bubble. 
There's about 400 people, three to 400, right about there. Three to 400 people floating up. Crazy. And then everything goes black again. And as everything goes black, I hear this voice speak. And the same voice now. And this time what the voice says is, I have to quote this carefully. For my children will be protected when I pour out my wrath on Babylon. Then I woke up sweating like a bull. Did you hear those words? The thought that we may not have to deal with any of this. When stuff starts going cuckoo, God looks like he's going to make a way of escape. Oh, even so, come Lord Jesus. Mm. Well, anyway, okay, that's the end of Woofie's dream. This is Pat talking. It was Pat talking when she said, even so, come Lord Jesus. But anyway, we won't cross hairs. Um, God is going to give us a way of escape. When I read that thing that he sent me, I hollered, I shouted. I was so happy. Oh, because just the thought of what were we going to have to deal with when those bombs start attacking America. I didn't know what we were going to have to go through. But the thought that God would not allow us to taste that kind of a wrath, to taste that kind of sting. What a blessing. I'm so glad. I'm so glad God is my Savior. I'm just so glad that I took a minute to give him a chance and accept Jesus into my heart. You guys, choose you this day whom you will serve. It's time to decide now. We don't know what day, what month, what week this is going to happen. We sure don't know the hour. But the Bible says when they say peace and safety, sudden destruction. Okay, I'm done. God bless you to make the right